Hello, my sunny family. You may recognize me. I'm your coach, Sam Candler. And today we have a really cool class. It's a 20 minute kettlebell, lower body skills and strength class. So it sounds like a lot, but here's a breakdown. We're gonna warm up together and then we're gonna spend a few minutes learning some key kettlebell skills, including the ever famous kettlebell swing. Once we really master our technique there, we're gonna put it all into a workout that we'll head through two times. So are you ready to get started? Let's go. We're gonna start our warm up with some forward folds, just like this. You're gonna reach down, you're gonna to touch towards your toes and get a big stretch of your hamstrings. But we're gonna add on here, sinking down into a squat. We'll place our arms on the ground and step your right leg back. So I know that seems like a lot, but just follow along. We'll raise your left arm up to the sky and bring it down. Then we'll bring your feet together, bring your right foot forward Raise your right arm to the sky, and then we'll bring that down too. We'll return to our squat position, and then lift those hips back to a forward fold. So pretty fancy, right? Let's do it all again. Reach down, touch towards those toes, stretch your hamstrings, sink down into a squat. Let's open up your chest, pull your shoulders back and down. We'll reach your right leg back. Left arm comes to the sky. Bring your hand down feet together, right foot forward, right arm to the sky, hand down, step your left leg up into this deep squat position, pull those hips up high and come all the way to standing. One more time to perfect that. Reach down, nice forward fold, drop those hips, good deep squat here. Hands down, right leg back, left arm up. Hands together, feet together, right leg forward, right arm up, put your hands down on the ground, step that left leg up. We're into this deep squat for our final time. Then we're gonna pull those hips up high into your forward fold and just hang out here just for a second. We don't like to do a lot of static stretching before, but we're gonna hold for three, two, and one. And we're all the way up tall. So next in our warm up, we're going to do step out squats. So here, you'll start with your feet together. Step to the right until you're in a nice comfortable squat position, slightly wider than hip width. Sink down into your squat. Stand up tall, bring your feet together. Then we go left. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Back to our right. We're gonna go side to side here for the next 30, 40 seconds, something like that. Into here. So from the front, it looks like this. Stepping directly to the side, into the squat and up. So now we're just getting your muscles in your legs all warmed up. You'll get your heart rate up. We'll start breathing a little bit harder. That's all part of the warm up. So we'll go here another 15 seconds, which should be about one or two more each side. We'll see squats again today. So enjoy the body weight ones while we've got them. All right, so up next, we are going to do a light kettlebell deadlift. So grab a kettlebell that is light for you. This means different things to different people. This may be 10 pounds, this may be 30 pounds. But a light deadlift, we're gonna have the kettlebell right here between your ankle bones. We're gonna hinge your hips as far back as we can and then when we can't hinge them back anymore, those knees get to bend, which allows me to lower to the kettlebell. My shoulders are back and down. I've got my shoulders slightly higher than my hips. I'm gonna exhale and stand up, and then reverse that motion back down. Hips go way, way back. That's it. Now, if you're not sure about your form, practice without a kettlebell. It can look exactly the same, just like this. So this is all about the hip hinge which is a very common movement for all kettlebell work. Let's do one more up and right back down. All right, we'll put that kettlebell out of the way for our last warm up exercise. Reverse lunges with a single leg balance. So we'll take here your right leg back into a nice reverse lunge. Both knees bend to about 90 degrees. We'll stand up tall, hug your knee and do it again. Back, up, Core nice and tight. Shoulders stay back, chest stays proud the entire time. We'll do one more 
on the right, right leg back, so it's really my left leg working, and then I'll switch to the other side. So this time my right leg will work as my left leg travels back, then I'm up, that's it. Couple more, I think we did four on the other side, so let's do four here. Nice and slow, a lot of control, and last one. Okay, so we're warm. Now we're gonna work on our skills. So it is very important with kettlebell work that we're really sharp in our skills and in our form. That's the difference between getting stronger and getting injured. So let's listen up here. When we work on a kettlebell swing, we need to master the hip hinge. So here what I'm gonna do is stand about one foot length behind my kettlebell. Feet are wide, just slightly wider than hips, very much like a squat position. I'm gonna hinge my hips back, reaching as far to the back wall as I can, and I'm gonna reach my arms towards my bell. So here, I'm holding onto my kettlebell, but you'll notice my arms are pulling forward. No problem, that's how we start, because then I'm gonna pull my shoulders down my back, which tilts the bell towards me. So I'll show you that again. I'm here, arms are pulling forward, but you'll notice I pull my shoulders down my back. That'll tilt the bell. Now from here, let's practice a hike. Pull the kettlebell back and right back down. You should not need to move your legs to make that happen. So if we've got that down pat, let's go to a full swing, just one rep. We're gonna pull back, we're gonna exhale and push our hips forward strongly and then come right back to start. Just like that, let's do it again. So a couple things to note here, your kettlebell is gonna end right in front of your chest height. That's called a rushing kettlebell swing. That's what we're gonna work with today. So your kettlebell will end here, your abs are tight, your shoulders are back, and you're standing as tall as possible. Not pushing forward through your hips, but nice and engaged. So let's try a couple reps together. Here, tilt that kettlebell towards me. Let's go one, two, let's do three more for five. That's it. Good. Put the kettlebell right back where we started. Last thing I want you to focus on is the breathing. We are going to exhale every time your hips come forward. Keep in mind that's not necessarily when the kettlebell gets to the top height. It's when your hips pop forward. That's when we want to exhale. A couple other exercises we're going to do today. I'll just show you briefly. We're going to be in a goblet squat, holding the horns of our kettlebell. And then just like we did in a warm up. We're into a nice strong squat. Then we're gonna do a lateral lunge to crossover lunge. We're gonna lunge to the side, holding our kettlebell right by our side like a suitcase, and then cross over behind like a curtsy. And then our final exercise today is going to be a vertical clean, where that kettlebell is gonna start between your ankle bones, just like it did in the warm up for the deadlift. Hips are back, chest is open. We're gonna exhale and bring it right up to in front of our chest, holding onto the top of the handle and then onto the horns. So with that in mind, I'll walk you through it all. Let's get ready. We're gonna go to our kettlebell swings in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. We have 40 seconds of swings here. Exhale every time those hips come forward. We need a lot of power. That's it. So look straight ahead. I know I'm looking at you, but this kettlebell is a little bit light for me because my concern is not for my workout, but for yours. You, you focus on you. Look straight ahead. Choose a kettlebell that's an appropriate weight. Too light might actually make things a little bit challenging. We have three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna go into our goblet squats next. We'll pick up our kettlebell by holding onto the horns, bringing the weight up to our chest. Here I like to hold the kettlebell just a couple inches from my chest, shoulders back and down. I'm gonna inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. That's it, nice and slow here. We're working on strength, not speed. There we go. We want all 10 toes in contact with the floor. 
And then we wanna push most of our weight up through this back half of our foot. So middle of our foot into our heel. We got it. Nice, tall, open posture. That's it. We have another four, three, two, and one. Take a rest. I know we're moving fast here, but we're gonna have a moment to rest after we get through this first circuit. Up next, lateral lunge to crossover lunge. We hold the weight in your right hand. We're going to lunge to the left, reaching that kettlebell towards your left foot. Notice that my shoulders and my hips still face you. Then I'm gonna come back to standing and then cross my left leg behind. Both knees bend, back to start. We're gonna stay all on the same side here. That's it. I'm starting to get a little out of breath, trying to do the workout and stay with you guys. And I'm telling you, this is real, real effort happening. We're gonna do one more crossover. That's it. Then we'll get ready for the next side. We have about 10 seconds to rest. We're gonna do the exact same thing, this time over to the right. Kettlebell in your left hand, chest is open, shoulders back. Three, two, and one. Lateral lunge, that's it. Crossover lunge, a lot of hip work happening here. Open up your hips. And then here, we kind of pretzel them up to get that outer left glute going. So right here, my outer left glute is what's supporting me. That's it. Only a couple more reps left. After this, it's just one more exercise until we get to rest. Last crossover right here. All right, final exercise here is that vertical clean. That's that one where we're gonna hold on to the top of the kettlebell and catch it on the sides. It's pretty exciting. I know you may be a little nervous for this one, but just start small. You can start light and kind of get a feel for it and then trust yourself. Ready? Three, two, and one, kettlebell starts between those ankle bones. Straight up, nice, strong, tall position at the top. This exercise is all about power from the hips. It has very little to do with your upper body at all because your hips are making the kettlebell kind of weightless. That's it. Right up. So you should feel a little bit similar to the kettlebell swing. We have about eight seconds left. That's maybe two more reps. Three, two, one. We did it. We're not totally done yet, but we did our first round. It was five exercises. We did our swings, our squats, our lunges to the left, our lunges to the right, and our vertical clean. So what do we do? We shake it off. Keep our muscles loose. I like to call this fast and loose in kettlebell language. You're just kind of keeping things moving. And then take a moment to reflect. How do we do on our weight selection? How's our form? If we're not so sure about our form, then maybe it's a good time to take a video and play it back for yourself. What do you see? How does it compare to my form? That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. I mentioned before that too light a kettlebell can actually make the swings sort of difficult. And that's simply because too light a kettlebell will mean you can use your upper body to lift the bell. Sometimes the fix is going just a little bit heavier in order to force the hips to do the work. Now I want you to make that decision that's best for you. And then get ready because in 10 seconds, we're on to our second round. I'll face this way this time for fun. Remember, I start one foot length back from my kettlebell, feet hip width apart, or slightly wider. Let's go, hips are back. Remember your breathing. Nice tall posture at the top. Shoulders are back. It should be like I am spreading my shoulders against the wall behind me. There's no rounding happening in my spine. And this is all my hips. 15 seconds. 
You got it. Keep going here. Steady rhythm. Last six. Last four, three, two, one. That's it. We get ready for our goblet squats up next. Now, if you're used to doing squats, you should feel super familiar. We're just holding a kettlebell this time. So we'll do a vertical clean to get the weight in place. And here we go. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Now watch my knees. I'm very careful that my knees are moving out. They're not collapsing in as I lower. So here I push my knees away from each other and I stand up. That's it. 20 more seconds. Keep moving nice and free here. Our hips are allowed to drop down. Our shoulders are back, our chest is open, allowing our lungs to breathe. We have three, two, one. Good. 20 seconds, shake it out. We're gonna go with the lateral lunges. This time just for fun, we're gonna go right first, which means I'm gonna hold my kettlebell in my left hand. So we start in five seconds, which means it's time to pick up the bell. Stand strong, tall posture. Here we go, we lunge to the right. We cross over behind. That's it. When we cross over behind, it's important to stay up on your back toes. Your back heel will reach high to the ceiling. There you go, your legs feeling it. We're working hips here with our glutes and even our hip flexors. We're working our quads. We've worked our hamstrings in this workout. We've worked those outer glute muscles. There's quite a few in that range. We have four, three, two, one. And then one of the things you might notice is even though it's a lower body workout, we're working the upper body by holding our posture strong. We're working our core by keeping it nice and engaged and never pushing through. All right. We hold in the right hand. We lunge left, let's go. Now you are very close to being done with this challenging lower body workout. I don't know if you can hear my heavy breathing, but lower body workouts are always a good chunk of cardio in there. That's it, halfway through this side. You might find that as you go, you can get a little deeper Move slow. We have eight seconds left. Good. Four, three, two, one, that's it. We put that bell down. We get ready for our last exercise, our vertical, vertical cleans. 40 seconds worth. We start in eight. We have our kettlebell right between our ankle bones. Hinge those hips back, chest is tall, and let's go. These should be fun. I always like doing these. They remind me that I am very powerful, that my hips are very powerful, but also it reminds me that I'm coordinated. And hopefully you feel that too. You're able to coordinate the hip motion with where the kettlebell goes and how your hands grab on. That's it. Final 10 seconds. Then we stretch. Come on, stay with me. Steady rhythm. Three, two, one. That's it. Let's carefully put our kettlebells down. And then I'm gonna grab a towel for our stretch because we're gonna go into a half kneeling position. So I like to have a little towel folded up under my knee. I'm gonna put my right knee down. I'm gonna take here my left leg forward like I'm gonna propose. And I'm gonna squeeze my right glute and reach my right arm all the way over towards the left side of the room. That's good. Get a little stretch of those hip flexors and quads. Good. Same thing on your other side. So how did you feel today? Did you learn something? And with any skill, 
it takes practice. Quick reminder right here, squeeze that left glute reach. All of this takes practice, so practice again and again. And if you're concerned about your form or something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't right. So evaluate, see if you can get a knowledgeable eye to watch you, or maybe even send me a video online and see if I can help you out. Last thing here, we're gonna do a hamstring stretch. Let's stand with our feet hip width apart. We're gonna reach down much like we did at the very beginning of class, allowing things to come full circle. And shift your weight hot side to side. And that's it, my friends. Stand up nice and tall. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did an amazing job today showing up for this kettlebell lower body skills and strength class. I cannot wait to see you next time.